Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go through my uh, haul for this week. First up, we have um, from Boom, Damn Them All. Don't know if anybody else has been reading this, but it is a uh, supernatural um, a series with uh, witches, wizards, um, not the conventional ones you see in the fairy tales, but there's magic involved, demons, um, all tied to uh, coins, and these coins are scattered around uh, the London area. So this is issue number uh, nine. I don't know how many more they have left to go, but um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty intense read at times. Also continuing on with Boom, we've got um, House of Slaughter, issue number 18. Um, again, I love everything from the um, Something is Killing the Children universe um, House of Slaughter, um, I keep having people say it, it's not the, uh, they don't like it as much as something that's killing the children, but, um, I, uh, I do like it, um, probably not as much, but I do like it. Some people just say it's absolutely not as good, not, not the best. And then, um, Hunt for Skinwalker, for the Skinwalker, again, this is, uh, Based on the ranch up in Utah, Skinwalker Ranch, which is on um, the TV show, um, The Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. This is the uh, first investigation that was taking place in the 90s, early 2000s, I believe. Then on to um, Image, got some number ones that came out from Image this week. Um, A Haunted Girl. Then um, Creep Show number two. And another um, number one, Destiny Gate. And uh, issue number five of Haunt You to the End. Um, this might be on the uh, tail end of wrapping up after the events of the last couple of issues. Then a, uh, a one-shot called Nights, about vampires. And then um, another uh, Undiscovered Country, number 26. It seems like I just picked up 25 a couple weeks ago, or a week or two ago. My uh, LCS said their shipment didn't come in late, so I um, hadn't seen Undiscovered Country for quite a while. And um, I missed it, so I had them throw me one in uh, for Void Rivals number four. And then, um, again, they had uh, some issues with getting this one in from uh, Mad Cave, uh, The Devil That Wears My Face. It, um, I read the uh, spoiler or um, uh, the ash can. I wouldn't call it an ash can, but it was a... Uh, if you see on my other haul videos, it was a sampler, and the uh, story is pretty intriguing. It's kind of exorcist with, with the body swap. And then into uh, Marvel, and uh, the Dark Droids is still uh, going strong. I had uh, several cool covers. I had my son with me, asked him which one I th he thought was cool, and we both agreed that Darth Vader one was. Um, and Mandalorian, um, following along the series, um, like this cover the best. This is the, uh, first appearance of, uh, Morgan, uh, Elspeth from, um, uh, Ahsoka series. And then, uh, my LCS got a, uh, bunch of new Thors in, so I got some filler issues. 251 and I was kind of pleasantly surprised to find um, this one 279 um, the uh, key collector app um, has this as a uh, bondage cover with uh, Jane Foster on it so
an issue um, 304. And then I was waiting for a, uh, a copy to come in of uh, Wolverine 36. This is the uh, tie-in uh, crossover with him and Ghost Rider. And then, um, love the movie. I still need to read the book, but American Psycho from Sumerian. This was the only cover that they had. They had a bunch of other covers that came in damage, so I'm waiting to uh, see what other ones I get in. And then uh, one of the kind of obscure ones, but um, this one called The Sickness. It's been a while since I read the first one, obviously a couple of months. I vaguely remember some of it, but um, it's one of those uh, kind of horror anthologies. And then a couple of the Chase covers. Um, last week, I know Poison Ivy came out, but the uh, ILCS didn't have any of the special issues, um, so they got me a, a 1 in 25. Um, they also offered me a 1 in 50, but um, wasn't a huge fan of the cover, but um, looking on uh, the Key Collector app, uh, this is the cover that's exploding right now. It's definitely uh, doubled in value of what I paid for it. Then a couple of um, Grim Fairy Tales, the uh, Diamond Realtor exclusive. This is the uh, limited to 500. I'm pretty sure that's Ivan Taos. And then um, the uh, Diamond Realtor exclusive, 299 with um, Red Riding Hood on it. So uh, that was my uh, my haul for the week. Um, as always, let me know if you picked any of these up, and uh, talk to you on the next one. Thanks.